Okay, here's a quick walk around video of the Cobia 194. <clears throat> this is actually a boat that we've had since, I think we've had it since 2006. Um, second owner's on it. Uh, we bought it one year old. Um, I'm just going to give you a walk around of it. The boat was kept inside its entire life. And, uh, get it to focus. And we just pulled it outside the building here and washed it. So, it's got a couple little issues, and I'll point them out. Um, one is the crack right here. It's on both sides. I don't know how that happened. Pain on the handle here peeled off a little bit. Um, everything with the lower unit's good. It's been all service from the beginning. Um, you can see the prop here. This prop's stainless. And it's actually, there's two props for this. Um, so it does come with, it comes with two props. Just this is the one he switched. I can't remember if this is the one he bought it somewhere. This actually was bought by my father. And uh, he's had it forever. It's got some drag marks of the sand. No dents. Like that, it never hit anything. And there's a little mark right here. It's a damn clean boat. He's always had it greased. Uh, very anal about it. No one, this is a boat that no one ever got to use. Nobody borrowed it, nobody drove it but him. There is a scratch on the side of it right here. Let's see, that's about where it goes to. And then on the rubbers, there's some spots where it's just bumped, but that's expected on any boat. These pop right back out. Um, this is an attachment. It has a windlass on the front. You can see the windlass right there. It's power from up front, so it just drops. Uh, they put two Bimini's on it, and standardly, and that's not something that most people do, but they didn't like the sun on them too much. So, it always run around with two Bimini's. And I'm going to go inside and show you. The water impeller's new, spark plugs are new. I think there's an Eiler pulley on the, the timing belt that was replaced and new. Um, all the upholstery is good except for right on the seams here. This one, I think the other one was doing it too. Yeah, right here. Other than that, all of it's good. It's just dirt. That cutting board and thing goes across the back right here. Oh, I'm tracking it up. We'll wash it again. That's the seat's a seat cooler. This looks good for. The boat will have a full detail before somebody picks it up. But mechanically, that's why you heard the drive clicking a little bit. The guy that washed it must have clicked that back. Um just gonna show you. And like I was saying, its boats never sat outside. It stays inside of the bigger building we have there, which is, that building is huge. It does come with electronics. Um, I'll list it and what the electronics are, and it comes with a VHF radio. It has a stereo on it, marine stereo inside of here. The windshield's clean. There's no cracking or anything like that. It's got, it does have two new batteries in it. Um... This is the cover for the uh, Bimini top. Now this the seat has that too on it. And that's really the only problems that this thing has with the poster is just on the uh, piping. There's no poke holes, there's no cracking, it's not dry at all. It's, it's just the marks on the piping. Live well.
It's got wash down on it. This is a bait box. Rod holders. Windless control. Got a perco switch. Two batteries. It's actually storage underneath here on both sides. The anchor wire hose and cord goes in that. And the floor down here, this dry storage. It has raw water washed down. Um, this one is the original top. It's got some holes in it. This one here is actually new. They just put that on about six months ago. So. Let me, let me show you the hours on the engines. These are rating for the amount of people on it. This thing is still kind of dirty. It's It's been sitting for a while in the building. And this the Perco switch is right back there. And I'm not I'm not going to fire it, but it's guaranteed run perfect. There's the hours on it's 5.15. You see it shows the trim. That's about it. Live well, bilge pump, horn, everything works on it. I mean, I'm talking about everything is always working this thing. If it didn't work, it was replaced. This button went out once, brand new one ordered for it. Like, I, I promise if you get this boat here, every single thing works. Everything was maintained, set up, all the equipment was always kept on it. It was stored inside. It was never, never loaned out. Nobody borrowed it. He didn't fish. He didn't really use it for anything but just to kind of put around and... It's just more storage. It's actually down to the back bottom of the uh, keel. And then there's storage into these. Flip this up. Flip up. One's just a dry storage. I think this one. I thought this one was a live well. It is. Yeah. And then you got your hose connection there for your wash down. And, uh,. That's about it. So, there's no chipping or gouges underneath. Um, it's really about it. I mean, when you go to show these boats, there's not a lot to show on these. It's, you know, it's not like it's a cabin cruiser with a lot of stuff. It's a center console, 19.4. It's been stored inside. This doesn't have any kind of sun damage or oxidation on it. Um, you know, the seats have those on the piping. And there's a scratch on that side over there. And a crack on that side of the cowling. And that's about it. But I'll climb down and give one more walk around of this thing. It does have the electronics, I'll list that in the listing. And that's our detailers here in the background. The tires on it are probably, I don't know, probably 70%. Um, they've always been, bearings have always been kept well greased. Um, I'll, I'll list any maintenance that's done when I talk to him later and see what he had done to it exactly. You can see this is your antenna for the VHF antenna, VHF radio, uh, color, GPS, char chart, band, electronics, and then the stereo. That's the electronics that's on it. You can see right here where the depth finder is. Brass plug.
Like I said, there's two props. One's a little bit higher pitch than the other one. Um, you see the grease there. As I said, he always kept this thing greased to death, ready to go. Wash down. Cool is removable. That's really about it. Um, we got to finish wiping the bottom. The last time it went in the water, that's uh, you see where it just wipes right off. Last place it was used at was Crystal River. That's pretty much where he always used it at was Crystal River, Florida. It's uh, if you don't know, it's a spring. It's the only, it's no one of two uh, springs that dump right out into the ocean. So. But anyway, we'll get it a full detail before it's picked up. And if you want to have it checked for service or anything um, before you pay for it, it's no problem at all. I wouldn't expect anybody to probably want to check and be sure that it's, you know, as described, 100%. But, uh... Oh, I didn't turn the battery off. It's got two batteries and one perco switch that runs them. That's about it. I'm just kind of trying to show you the shine on it so that you can see it's not oxidized. I mean, it's like I said, it's always stayed inside except for during the summers. They take it to Crystal River for three months. And another net sits inside. Huge building we got here.